Let's do a little comparison of Fusion 360 versus Onshape. I want to talk a little bit about what the differences are and why one of them kind of annoys me. I also want to tell you why I would prefer one over the other. So let's get into it. Onshape is kind of a newer software package that runs in your browser instead of running in an installed program. So you don't have to install anything. And the thing that I like about it is that it's really smooth it doesn't really experience lag because again, it's not running on your computer. So I'm gonna show you here on the left side of my screen, this is on shape and I can use a 3D mouse with it even though it's running in my browser, it's not a problem, it works perfectly fine. You're gonna notice that on the top left here, we have the feature manager tree and it looks much like the feature manager tree in SolidWorks, which you might be used to if you're a CAD modeler, designer, engineer. So I really like that about it. I also really like that the features are well nested. So if you were to instance open up extrude, you're gonna see that we have the option of creating a delete extrude, of creating an add extrude, a new extrude. We can make it as a solid, as a surface, and it's all in one feature. And that is really smart. Um, so I really like the familiarity because I'm coming from the SolidWorks world and I'm sure many people are, and it's very similar to that. Um, also, I really like how the layout, it's very clean. Um, you have all your features where you would expect them to be. So again, they kind of copied SolidWorks a lot. Okay, so not really many complaints about Onshape. Um, now let's go to Fusion 360 and we're gonna notice here, we have our browser, we have all the parts. Um, it's a little bit convoluted. Uh, it's not that much different from SolidWorks in the browser, but when we come down to the bottom, uh, they say the devil's in the details, and that's very true for, on, for uh, Fusion 360 because you're gonna notice that all of our features, including our insert mates and, and our component insertions are all in the same place. Even the grounding of components, the fixing of components is also added to the same design tree. So I hope that kind of makes sense. What I'm getting at is that modeling, like the 3D modeling and the 3D creation is in the same bucket as the mates and as feature insertion and as fixing and as everything else. Even mirroring components comes down here into the feature uh, tree and I really don't like that. I, I think it's really confusing. It almost seems like Fusion 360 is trying to fuse parts and assemblies. Maybe that's why it's called Fusion 360. They're trying to put parts and assemblies together, but it just doesn't work. It's just so, it makes it so complicated. It's harder to distinguish a part from an assembly in Fusion 360. Whereas in SolidWorks or whereas in Onshape, there's a very clear distinction between those two things. Like right now I'm looking at a part in Onshape, but I could also show you the main assembly and rest assured, there's no timeline here the way we have a timeline on the bottom of Fusion 360. There's no timeline. It's just, you got your mates, you got all your parts, which they call instances. So I like that, it's clean. That's the way it should be. That's really the way it should be. Let's talk a little bit about some things outside of modeling. In Fusion 360, let's say you wanna do a rendering. Um, they have a tab for render. It's right here, it's easy to get to. If you wanna do an animation, it's also very easy to access. Um, if you wanna do machining, you, you have a machine shop and you wanna do manufacturing, it's all right here. And most of it is free. I can't say the same for Onshape. Onshape is gonna charge you thousands of dollars to run some third-party software to do simulation, to do rendering, and, and all these things that you might wanna do at the end of a project. So Fusion 360 takes the cake in terms of accessibility. It's much more accessible to just get started and start working in Fusion 360 
and not really have a problem. They're going to try to throttle how many parts you can have open. You can only have 10 parts open at a time on the free version of Fusion 360. Whereas in Onshape, there's not really a limit. Um, you can kind of do everything, except if you want to use advanced features like simulation, you're pretty much going to be screwed. You're going to have to start paying for it pretty much immediately. So Fusion 360, much better for students and people that want to learn. Onshape to me seems like much more of a professional CAD package that's more suited to professional use, especially considering its price. Um, I hate the way Fusion 360 is organized. I know I've said that a bunch of times, but it, it just drives me nuts. I just, I don't like the way that they have it laid out. And it, it's just counterintuitive for when you get into the bigger assemblies with a lot of different parts. And when there's a lot going on, it's going to end up hurting you. It's going to end up uh, biting you in the you know what. So um, we're pretty much going to leave it at that for now. Um, I'm sure people have a lot of strong opinions about this. So feel free to talk about it in the comments. Uh, I'm not going to be insulted if you don't agree with me. Um, we all have different uses for this software. We're all coming from different places. Uh, we all have different needs. So it's not uh, surprising for me that people might disagree. Let's talk a little bit more about the pricing and the cost of this software. So you're going to see here on the left side of my screen that this is $476 for a year of Fusion 360. So that's uh, pretty affordable, I would say, for most people. Now, I'm going to show you just one aspect of Onshape. They're charging for the Render Studio Onshape Pro. So I believe you have to pay even to do a, um, you know, a, a rendering, a simulation. You have to pay for all of that stuff. Um, it's very expensive. So if we go to pricing, you're going to see that it's actually $2,500 for the professional plan. And even for the standard plan, it's $1,500. And I haven't really seen any um, sort of discounts on this yet. Um, it might be because Onshape is a pretty new thing. Um, I also noticed that the community of Onshape is much smaller than the Fusion 360 community. Um, if you look on Facebook or you look on some of the big groups on Reddit, the Onshape groups are very small. They have maybe 7,000, 8,000 members. And the Fusion 360, because it's more accessible, uh, there are many more people doing it, and there's more information about it. So Fusion 360, again, wins with accessibility. Um, but I think that anyone that's doing a very concentrated project with a lot of moving parts, even if they're a beginner, I think that Onshape would be a better choice for them overall.